Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about 1981's Just Before Dawn. Now, this is mostly going to be a review of this new Code Red Blu-ray release for the film. As I've talked about Just Before Dawn in several videos on this channel in the past, I did a review of the 88 Films Blu-ray release for Just Before Dawn a year or two ago. I'll post that link around here somewhere. Go check it out. But I would be remiss if I didn't spend at least a few minutes talking about this film and why I like it so much, why I feel like it's an overlooked and underrated entry in the early 80s slasher pantheon. And Just Before Dawn has the tried and true slasher movie setup of a group of young people. They jaunt off into the woods only to be stalked and systematically knocked off one by one by a maniac wielding a very large, very sharp implement. And even though Just Before Dawn features a lot of the tropes of a backwoods slasher movie, the film has the look and feel of a 70s thriller. And you can tell that director Jeff Lieberman was certainly inspired by Deliverance while making Just Before Dawn. So I've always felt like Just Before Dawn has the look and feel of a 70s thriller but with the mentality of an early 80s backwoods slasher movie, kind of the best of both worlds. And of all the things I love about Just Before Dawn, at the top of the list is the score for this film. And the music in Just Before Dawn is very unconventional. You get a lot of whistles, a lot of howls. It's very eerie. It's very spooky. It's very haunting. The music in this film was done by Brad Fidel, who went on to work with James Cameron on movies like Terminator and Terminator 2. But here he delivers just an absolutely haunting score for this film. I cannot think of Just Before Dawn and not hear that theme <laughs> echoing in my head. But I love, love, love the music for this film. Um, another thing I love about the movie is just the locations. This movie was shot in a forest in Oregon. The landscapes are just absolutely beautiful. They're this lush forest, but at the same time, the way that they're shot combined with Mr. Fidel's score just gives them this very ominous, creepy feel. So you have the beauty of this lush forest with all of these scenic waterfalls and rivers. And it's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to shoot a movie with Brad Fidel's just absolutely haunting and eerie score playing over it. It's incredibly effective. The cast of this film is also absolutely top notch. You've got George Kennedy here. You've got Mike Kellen from Sleepaway Camp. You've got Greg Henry. You've got Chris Lemon. Um, the actress Jamie Rose delivers a fantastic performance in this film as well. Uh, what was the other actress's name? Deborah Benson delivers a fantastic performance. Also, the cast from top to bottom, great, great performances in this film. And I don't want to give too much away about the killer or killers. And just before dawn, because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who still haven't seen the film, but the way that it's executed <laughs> is really unique, I think, for an early 80s slasher movie. And the more that you think about it, the more creepy and kind of uncomfortable it is that through many generations of inbreeding, you eventually create not one, but two completely evil <laughs> people. I've been a big fan of Just Before Dawn ever since I first rented the movie on VHS. I think it's an exceptionally well-made film. I love the score. I love the photography. The characters are great. We get some nice kills in the movie as well. One in particular at the very beginning of the movie uh, involving a very large machete and a guy's groin, which is just... Mm. I highly recommend Just Before Dawn. If you've not seen it, go see it. Now, as for this Blu-ray release from Code Red, first let's check out the presentation. This release features a brand new slipcase with some very cool artwork on it. Um, I've, I've seen some people online going back and forth. Some people say that this artwork sucks. Some people say that the artwork is really cool. Personally, I think this artwork is pretty darn cool. Uh, the sleeve inside the Blu-ray 
features the same artwork, however it is reversible, and on the reverse you get the old school poster art for Just Before Dawn. As for the picture quality and sound quality on this release, I thought I had read somewhere that this release would feature a new scan and restoration uh, of the film. However, it appears that it does not. Back here it says we get the original uncut version from the original inner negative. Um, I do believe that this is the same um, transfer that was on the other Code Red release that is now out of print. Um, I did not compare it to the 88 Films Blu-ray release as far as picture quality and sound quality. Uh, however, I do think the picture quality on this release is really good. I would give it a solid four out of five. Same with the audio quality. I thought the audio quality was quite good on this release. I would give it a solid four out of five as far as extras are concerned. First up, we get a new interview with Greg Henry. It's 13 minutes and 48 seconds in length. Mr. Henry discusses working with director Jeff Lieberman. He discusses the locations in Oregon where they shot just before dawn. He discusses working with George Kennedy and the rest of the cast. He discusses working with actors like Leslie Nielsen and Michael J. Pollard uh, later on in his career. He discusses working on movies like Hot Rod, Body Double, Mamba, and more. Very nice interview with Mr. Henry. Next up, we have a new interview with Jamie Rose. It's 15 minutes and 34 seconds in length. Ms. Rose discusses auditioning for Jeff Lieberman and working with him. Uh, she discusses how excited she was to work with George Kennedy and Mike Kellen. She discusses shooting her skinny dipping scene. Uh, she discusses the fan base for Just Before Dawn, the, her career post Just Before Dawn, and more. Very nice interview with Ms. Rose. Next up, we get a new interview with Chris Lemon. It's 28 minutes and 5 seconds in length. Mr. Lemon discusses how physically demanding working on Just Before Dawn was. He discusses working with George Kennedy, Mike Killen, Greg Henry, and the rest of the cast. He discusses doing some of his own stunts in the film. He discusses his career post Just Before Dawn, working with people like his father, Jack Lemon, Martin Landau, Christopher Plummer, and Hulk Hogan among others, and more. Very nice interview with Mr. Lemon. Next up, we have a new interview with producer David Shelton. It's 30 minutes and 50 seconds in length. Mr. Shelton discusses his background producing and directing for the stage before working for America International and developing projects with people like Brian De Palma and Martin Scorsese. He discusses how he got involved with Just Before Dawn and working with Jeff Lieberman. He discusses the difficulties that arose during production with the other producer on the film. He discusses working with George Kennedy and the rest of the cast. He discusses being happy with how the film turned out and its cult status. Very nice interview with Mr. Shelton. Next up, we get Just Before Dawn, Lions, Tigers, and Inbred Twins. It is 50 minutes and 49 seconds in length. This is the making of documentary that was on the old Shriek Show DVD release for the film. It includes interviews with writer Mark Arwitz, uh, Chris Lemon, Jamie Rose, John Hunsacker, producer Dave Shelton, and composer Brad Fidel. Uh, it's a pretty comprehensive making of documentary uh, that's been ported over from the Shriek Show DVD. The audio goes out of sync about halfway through, however, still a very informative, in-depth making of for Just Before Dawn. Uh, we get the longer version of the film, which is presented in very, very standard definition. Uh, it's sourced from a pretty rough print of the film. Uh, it features 12 additional minutes of footage, which were included in the international release of Just Before Dawn. Uh, we get trailers and we get intros for the film with stars Greg Henry and Jamie Rose, in which they are, for lack of a better word, accosted by Banana Man. Banana Man. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Just Before Dawn from Code Red. If you've not seen this movie, again, I highly, highly recommend it. Go see it. This Blu-ray would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you're a fan of Just Before Dawn, I'd recommend looking into picking up this Blu-ray and adding it to your collection. We've got some nice new interviews on this release. The making of, the comprehensive making of for the movie from the Shriek Show DVD is ported over. We've got both cuts of the movie. We've got a nice presentation here. I dig the artwork on the slipcase. Some people don't. I do, but I'm a big fan of Just Before Dawn. If you've seen Just Before Dawn, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. If you picked up this Blu-ray release and you own the other Code Red Blu-ray release from several years ago that's now long out of print, let me know your thoughts on both of those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you own the old Code Red Blu-ray release, should you pick up the new one? Let me know down 
in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dixon, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bizdick, and Steak Sauce. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.